back to my channel. It's Simply Jessica here today with a very easy, easy craft DIY. It's not really a craft, but it is a little DIY. Um, we are going to be putting together super cute ways this way um, <laughs> to give things for Easter out of these little plastic eggs that we bought there. So these are the ones, they're egg containers that came in the, through all the, they had four colors. They had blue, purple, pink, and green. And I got three of them. And we are just going to make three of these adorable little things here for the nieces and my daughter's boyfriend's son for Easter. And again, they are going to be super cute. I know they are. And <laughs> they're going to be so easy. Just the way that we need things to be sometimes in life. Oh, that one I already took the sticker off of. So we're going to start with this guy here. We need easy things in life. I'm telling you, life is rough sometimes. Also picked up the really fuzzy little headbands with the little carrots. We have the ones to match, so we have pink, we have the purple, and we have the blue. And what we are going to do with these headbands is we're going to take a bunch of hot glue and we're going to go all in the inside of this and we're going to glue it. Hold on. Once the hot glue is on there, this will be easier. We are going to hot glue it here to the top. I gotta get a glue stick in here because I think we're gonna need quite a bit. So we're just gonna go all on the inside here with the hot glue. I knew it. I just said it and then didn't do it. So we're just going to coat this with some hot glue all around the headband. We're gonna keep our egg like this. We're gonna go up towards the pointy part of the egg. And down we go with the headband. You want to leave just like that part there needs to go down. You see the lip to it here? This is where your lid is going to close. So you're going to want to make sure that you don't cover that. So you're still going to be able to close your egg. So it doesn't seem like it's taking long to hang on here. So we just add a little pressure. I think I need to lift you up a little. No, I think you're good right there. Just add a little pressure and get that egg, um, that egg, get that bunny ear, those bunny ears on that egg. That way we don't cover the lip so we're still able to close the container, okay? I am gonna lift you. All right, that might be a little bit better. And then we're just going to take our, where did I put it? We got some Easter grass. So we're just going to take a little bit of that. Sorry for the crunching. And you don't even need a ton. So we're just going to take some out. I'm going to use the pink for the pink, but unfortunately the purple and the yellow, I mean the purple and the blue, the other colors I have are green and yellow. So we'll just use those for now. If I'm able to find, I'm just going to probably, oh, I'm going to take it out anyway. If I'm going to use about half of what it comes with, we're going to save the other half for the other little Easter baskets that are already made, but I don't have grass in them. And this is where you can just add whatever it is you want to add. I just have a couple of things here that I'm putting in for now. And... That is these cute little eggs. I showed you guys these in the $1 tree haul. I have little, those little egg pops, like the little ring pops there. I have some jelly beans. And again, obviously you can fill these with whatever you would like. But right now, these are the leftover things that I have. I'm going to get a couple more things to fill this, but they don't need much more. 
And then I got this bag of candy. Sorry, trying to open it. I'm going to just dump that out because I like to be fair. There we go. And we're going to throw those in there like so. I'm just going to keep these to the side. And again, you can fill this with as much stuff or as little stuff as you want, whatever it is that you want to use. The only thing I'm a little sad for, because this is what I wanted to do, and unfortunately, I cannot find them. You guys know the felt feet. They're just white felt feet with the pink or blue, like, toes, pads on them. I wanted to get them to put them here, but... Ever since I have been looking for them, I cannot find them. So we are just going to be doing this, okay? And now the other thing that I bought are little stickers to put names on them, which we're going to do in a moment. I'm just going to actually put this to the side and then just do the other, the other two pretty quickly here. And you saw how much time that took, seriously, like none. And even if you had to add, or even if you wanted to add the feet, which I think would be super cute, I'm so sad that I cannot find them. And every Dollar Tree that I have been to recently, I've looked, I cannot find them, but I wanted to put the feet on them. So I'm just going to keep an eye out because Easter, we still have a little bit of time. So if I find them, then I will put them on. But we're just taking our headband. I just covered it in glue. And then we're going, oh, that was hot. We're going to go under that lip there just so we can still close it. And just push down and hold. Like I said, it seemed to hold pretty quick on the other one. But like, how cute. I know, I'm like already obsessed. Just gonna hold. This one's taking a little longer. <laughs> And then we're going to put our grass in, add our little, I think we're just going to go with some yellow on this one. Using just about half of what comes with it. Don't need a bunch, but I do have to fill it with some more stuff. Like I have their coloring books and stuff, but I think that um, they're not going to fit in here. Look at your grass. Get that thrown in there. Put the extra over there for now. And you guys, you see what I mean? Like how cute and easy do we have this? I love it. Where'd I put the candy? Here we go. Throw some eggs in there. A little lollipop. And what did I do with the oh the jelly beans? And we're gonna put that to the side and move on to the blue one. Come on. So think of that. I'm making three of these, and it's like just the matter of minutes, which I think is phenomenal. And we're gonna personalize them, which is even better. So again, with the hot glue, just all in there. Just get it all in there and then stick that on. One more mention, just watch the lip there because you don't want to cover it. Every single one of these, I burned one of my fingers. <laughs> so you just wanna leave that lip here still out and then just get your headband on there and then just holding that for a minute letting that glue cool down for us i like the purple and yellow actually i think that looks really nice it's a good color combo so we have our blue one Ooh. and we're going to take our last color here which is the green like i said about half <laughs> and just get 
that in there and add your stuff to the inside. Got the nice blue egg, a ring, the little candies, and then of course the jelly beans. And we're gonna stick those in there as well. Oh, you know what I know? I did have the peanut butter eggs too, but I'm going to be super honest and tell you that I ate them, because I did. <laughs> so there's that. And you know what? Hold on, guys. I'm back here. I want to see if I can get these stuffed animals in here, because these are kind of pouring over in the other ones. So maybe, let's just see. We can get the stuffed animals in here now. We're not going to be able, I don't think we're going to be able to fit it all. I mean, these do bubble up. Ah, it's a good possibility. <laughs> all right. Sorry, I know. Just thinking here. Because they are like kind of just laying on top of the other Easter baskets because there was a lot of stuff in there. So I'm just going to add the little stuffed animal and the egg. We're going to have to kind of put them to the side there. Add the little candies and the jelly beans and the little ring. And look how cute that is. Seriously. Oh my goodness. I'm so excited. And it's so easy to do. And it does not cost a lot. I know there is so many people on a budget, including myself. So... I like to find very affordable ways to do things, and this just so happens to be one. So we're going to stuck that stuffed animal in there. We're going to lay the egg with the M&Ms, throw the candies in, the jelly beans, and the little egg. The good thing is, is that they stand up a little bit, but I, the eggs are high. So you're able to put the lid on them. And look how cute. Seriously. Oh, I'm just loving it. And I know people yell at me because I do things and then I take it apart and I fix it or I change it. I do apologize. Um, I think of something and then I put it together. And sometimes I think in my head that it's going to be perfect. And then sometimes why I am doing it, it doesn't necessarily come out the way that I want to. So I fix it. So I do apologize if that bothers you. But it only took a minute to change it up. And I think it looks 10 times cuter with the little stuffed animals in there. My personal, personal opinion. Now, with the tops of the eggs here, we're going to move these guys over a little bit. This is where you can do your personal, personalization. Now, I have a niece named Emma. She is the one with the smallest name. So they do have these poster stickers there, all kinds of really fun colors. And I'm hoping that there's another M. Is this going to be my luck, guys? I think it is. Wow. What we're going to do is we're going to flip the W's because they gave me two W's and only one M that I didn't notice. But these are bigger letters. So if you have a smaller name, this is going to be the easiest for you to kind of cover more ground, right? So I am just going to take this dot here as the center. And that's not what I'm going to do. Hold on and take that dot there as the center. And yes, unfortunately, we are going to have to take these W's and have them flipped around for the M's. And hopefully she won't notice. <laughs> so we're going to take one of the M's here, get that on there. We're going to take the other one on the other side of that dot. This way we just know that it is centered. Well, we're going to be crossing over the M's here a little bit. But that's all right. Now we'll get our E. Which E do I want? They have two E's here. So I have yellow. I think we're going to go with the yellow. We're going to do the yellow E. Try and just line up the letters at the bottom here. 
And then we will do a nice blue A. Now the other kids' names are a lot longer <laughs> than that. So I'm going with some smaller letters. But look how cute. Yes, I know their W is upside down. Don't judge me. Because um, <laughs> why would they only give me one M? That's okay. I should have looked before buying. But anyway, and then you can just add the name. I love the different colors, which is super cute. And you just place that over top. Get your lid on there. Takes a second. Just got to move it around. Come on. There we go. And then you have these super cute gifts that I just love. So that is with the bigger letters. And then we have some of the little foil stickers here that I bought that we'll do the other kids' names with just because they are longer. Oh, come on. And we'll just go across the center. I wish that they had like an in-between size, really. Or, and I'm sure they probably will have them. I haven't seen any yet. These colors, the bright, different colors, I love that. So we're going to try this out with the smaller letters here and just go across that as well. So, all right. Just trying to figure out. Don't judge. Just tried to figure out centering this. Okay. So we're going to take the V here. I'm going to try to do this in all capitals because they have capitals and they have a lowercase. And we're just going to, I think we're going to take the dot there and use that for the bottoms of our letters. And I'm moving backwards here. That's not right. Oh, yay, yay. Thank God they come off easy. Sorry, we need the E. So I'll show you what the smaller letters look like as well. We're just gonna use that to center. And again, moving backwards here. And then just kind of lining up the bottoms. Now these letters kind of go up and around. Kind of fancy. So I'll show you what this looks like as well. And honestly, so far, I'm pretty much loving it. Because it is kind of come on, showing up pretty nice. They like I said, they do have capital and lowercase. I'm just going with the capital letters. Oh, I love it already. I really do. I think it's super cute. I like this though. I feel like it pops a little bit more, but those names, we're not going on here with that size. And last one for his. Oh my goodness. Look how cute that is. I know the glare from the ring light there can kind of be a pain in the tushy, but look at that. It does go pretty much like all the way from end to end, just a little space on each side, but how cute. Then we're going to put that on here. You can also add other stickers if you would like to make it even more festive and fun. I just haven't found any other ones. See, today I got a little hot glue there, so we just got to scoot that out of the way. These lids are like a little bit of a pain in the tushy, but they do go on. As soon as you hear that pop, that's a relief. But look how cute. Right? So they're like even little personalized Easter gifts, and I just love it. 
Love it. I will get the name on top of hers. I won't bore you with watching me do that, but I will get it on, put it on here, and then I will come back and show you what they all look like. So I'll be right back. Okay, guys, so here they are. And just look how cute. Seriously, I love each and every one of them. No matter what stickers we used, I think they came out super cute. You can see their names really nice. And I just, I know my table is gross, but I just love them. I really do. I think they are so super cute. Look at these guys. Right? So easy, but beautiful. Just beautiful. I love them. I hope you guys do too. And until next time, bye now.